Guys, today we're going to review one of the hottest gaming phone this 2020. Probably the first half of 2020, we have been hit by a pandemic and things have slowed down drastically. And we see that companies have been releasing phones so slow and we've just seen just a couple of gaming phones and one of them is the ZTE Nubia Red Magic 5G. This phone has captivated a lot of gaming fans. To be honest with you, it tried to take on the likes of the Black Shark 3 and the ROG 2. Do you think this phone can level up with them? Let's find it out. Hi, I'm Richmond of Gadget Psychic. Join me as I unbox one of the gaming phones this first half of the 2020, the ZTE Nubia Red Magic 5G. Let's go. We can see that it's a black box for the Red Magic 5G. You might be wondering why it's not a cartoonistic colored box and I have a black one because this is a special edition. This is the blueprint edition or what we call the transparent edition. Probably they got some inspiration from Xiaomi. Their Mi 8 Explorer Edition is a transparent back that I have an unboxed a couple of years back and it looks nice, really, really nice. And we'll see on this one, it just looks better. Let's find it out. Upon opening the box, we can see the phone itself. There's a, I don't understand what kind of language is this. It just means victory, okay? So probably you'll win more games on Mobile Legend if you use this phone. So we have here, uh, just pull it out. So there's a letter envelope inside and there's your warranty card and your user guide. Everything's in Chinese since this is the Chinese edition. You have the SIM ejector pin. Then over here, we have your red charging cable. And what's nice about this is that it has an angled connector, making it less iffy when you're playing while charging. But I really don't recommend playing while charging, but some people does that. So yeah, then we have here your 55 watts charging brick so nice so fast i'll tell you how fast it is later pulling this out from the box you can see it's really really nice the transparent back is really, really attractive we can see the red magic is glowing here it's a led light glowing led light rgb we can see the qualcomm snapdragon 865 chip here but of course just aesthetics then you can see LP DDR5 memory is also here. Then a fan that can dissipate the heat while you're playing. Then of course here says that it's 144 hertz refresh rate. Really, it's just off the charts. Then up here it's powered by Nubia and it's 5G ready. So are you ready for the 5G era? I am. I hope you are. Now let's take a good look around the phone. Underneath, we have a SIM tray which can host two nano SIMs. Sorry, no micro SD expansion. Microphone in, USB Type C, and of course, your loudspeaker. Then on the side, we have two air triggers. Then, of course, your power button and your volume rocker. Then on top, we have the audio jack and your noise cancellation mic. And we can see a red toggle here. It's the Red Magic game space. Then here's the fan, exhaust. Then here is for some dock attachment. We have a 6.65 AMOLED screen, 1080p, 144 hertz refresh rate, and it's protected by Corning Gorilla Glass. I'm not just sure what level it is, but it just said it's just Corning Gorilla Glass. Then at the back, it also is Corning Gorilla Glass back, protected by aluminum frame. That rounds out pretty much the structure of the phone itself. 
Then on top of the screen, we have the 8 megapixel front selfie camera. And at the back, we have triple camera setup, starting with the 64 MP wide sensor, the 8 MP ultra wide sensor, and your 2 MP macro lens. Then on top, there's the LED light. And with the Red Magic Lit logo, it just feels good to have this phone. You know, there's a lot of gamers out there who have been dying to trying to get this phone. This phone is so scarce here in our in my country, the Philippines. And what's selling better is probably the Black Shark and the ROG 2. But people right now is looking for this phone. I just can't deny it's really, really good from the touch itself, from the feel, from the structure itself. It looks good. But right now we're going to get deep inside this phone starting from the amoled screen i can say that it gives a good good vibrant colors swiping left and right is very very responsive i can say that watching movie and playing games should be equally good then inside the screen there's your in-screen fingerprint scanner which gives you a lot of ease unlocking your phone and i show you that it's really really fast check it out Right now, I'll walk you through some of the benchmark, which proves this is really one phone to have for gaming. For Antutu, it gave it a 596,000 points, which is really, really high. One phone which is higher than this is the Mi 10 Pro, which out of the box, I was able to get a 600,000 points. Well, just 4,000 higher than this one. I'm just wondering why this one can't achieve 600, but it should be there on that level. Breaking down, CPU score is 183, GPU 215. Wow. Memory, 100,000, and UX, 96,000. Now, checking out 3D Mark, I can say it was able to obtain a score higher than 6,000. It was able to garner 7,253 by far this is the highest gpu rating that i have ever attained from any smartphone for 2020 and i can say it should be really nice for gaming now this phone is packed with a 4500 milliampere hours of battery and guess what it can support up to 55 watts of fast charging ZT says that it can charge from 0 to 100 in just 40 minutes. And guess what? I drained the battery all the way down to 6% and I was able to monitor the charging all the way up to 100% using this one, the Omni Mini Digital Power Meter. By using this one, the Omni Mini Digital Power Reader, I was able to monitor the watts, the kilowatts, and guess what? I was able to obtain 55 watts of charging speed from the stock charger and the stock cable. And guess how many minutes I was able to achieve? I just did it in 36 minutes. And another breaking record is that this is the first time that I was able to achieve the promise of the company as advertised. They said it can charge in 40 minutes. I was able to achieve lower from 6 to 100 in 36 minutes, roughly maybe I could complete it from 0 to 100 in 40 minutes as promised. And by far only ZTE gained my trust on the charging speed. Good job on that. Given all those statistics on this Omni Mini Digital Power Reader, I was able to compute that I only have to spend 30 cent peso. Take note, 30 cents peso for one full charge on this Nubia Red Magic 5G. And I'm quite surprised. I don't even need to pay one peso just to charge one full cycle on this phone. And I just want to show you that there's another item worth buying from Omni and it's the extension cord with three USB ports. And you know that there's a lot of clutters at home, Octopus charging. It's really, really dangerous. But with this one, you have three USB here, support up to 15 watts together. You can charge three devices, probably those ordinary devices that you have at home. 
of course not those powerful smartphones like this one you rather use your original stock charger and this one even have the overload protection meaning it will trip it will stop when it sends that it is overloading giving you maximum protection at home to prevent those short circuit fire so of course you want to stay home but you have to stay safe take it from me and omni going back we were able to rate the screen on time on this phone it was able to rate at 12 hours and 60 minutes from pc mark really it's a power hungry chipset and it was able to squeeze out 12 hours of screen on time not not bad this is my favorite part of the show now we have two air triggers up here which has a pressure sensing of 300 hertz should be really, really good for some games like the call of duty speaking of call of duty let's right now enter the game space mode so from here we can choose what games we like so i'll go first with the call of duty and we can see the graphic is so nice honestly that's why people like to buy this phone probably it will give you the best experience up to date with the snapdragon 865 coupled with the lp ddr5 memory it gives you the fastest the best speed that your game experience can have you can see here that we are using the air triggers and it's really really responsive i feel like i can kill more enemies using these triggers moving over to mobile legend i can see the graphic is also equally nice there's no frame drops there's no screen freeze i can say the experience really is nice now checking the game space there's a lot of menu that you can configure on this one from turning on and off the fan from switching from 90 to 144 hertz then using the 4d shock block message block calls then yeah use this one these triggers for mapping and a lot lot more now you can see at the back the fan is spinning now it will really really pull the air out give you a more cooler phone while you're playing okay let's move over to the camera section i know that this phone i don't expect really a good good camera from a gaming phone but of course that we have to review every single aspect from the product from the outdoor shot we can see the blue sky is great then when it gets gloomy the picture also gets gloomy as well taking some indoor shots i can say that it's good and i don't really expect too much from this camera as it is not giving me that extra kick on the pictures that i'm taking taking photos of some flowers and leaves it's just average there's nothing fancy about these photos taking some selfie shots i can say the 8mp really lacks that punch I'm not really fond of taking selfies, but I can see that these photos are a little bit blurred compared to those rivals having 16MP and 32MP and 44MP front cameras. This one still lacks the kick. Taking videos from its 64MP rear camera, I can see it's stable. This one, I'm really, really surprised. Taking at, filming at 4K 60fps, this is really really stable though the pictures aren't that vibrant but the stabilization is really really good but it's the other way around when you take the selfie video like it's so shaky that and it's so blurry i don't really even recommend this to take some basic vlogging now guys we have already covered the nubia red magic 5g and I'm really surprised with its charging speed, with its form factor so good, and its game experience really, really great. No wonder everybody is scrambling, trying to get a hand on this ZTE Nubia Red Magic 5G. What are your thoughts? Write what you're thinking on the comment section below so I'll know what's really running inside your mind. Do you like it or you don't? I just want to do a quick shout out to our friends at Shandi Masangkai, 1208 Masangkai Street, Tondo, Manila for this phone. Don't forget to check the reviews of our friends from Sulit Tech Review and Pinoy Tech Dad 
I'm sure they have their own take on this phone. And I'm Richmond of Gadget Psychic. Do subscribe and click that bell icon so you don't miss any of my future review. And I hope to see you on my next video. Goodbye.